Hey, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishments, and um, hi y'all are. <laughs> um, I am here, my, I've got something printing on the printer, so if you guys find that annoying, put it in the comments, and I promise it will never happen again. But what I'm doing is I wanted to make a little junk journal, or a big, just a regular junk journal, for my grandson's teacher who did something really nice for him during the year and I wanted to show her appreciation so that's and I'm like okay I can make this but I can also make this with you guys so how awesome um I don't usually buy uh digi kits but I did this time and I got these from um where is it my porch prints my porch prints and this is the school i think it's called the school school days journal kit okay this right here is like it comes with tags and it comes with different pages and what i did was i took these pages I, my printer messed this up but i i can fix that a little tuck spot or something up there but um i think maybe this is not the best sheet of paper but anyway i have good paper and i have printer paper copy paper but what I did is I printed them on both sides and you can kind of see whoop, well that must well that's a good piece of paper right there okay and um I printed them on both sides and and yes so I have these and then I have um I have these that four of each of them, I have eight of those. I, I printed eight of those, so I could have, I figured I'd have four signatures. So I have um, four of these, which are coffee dyed. I don't know if you can see them, but they have the dot printer, dot paper. And then four of these, all these are coffee dyed. And then these are, um, this is coffee dyed tracing paper, which is really cool and it makes a really cool sound, but it's really not a good base um, for a page. But uh, because it's really flimsy, I mean, it can be, I guess, but I, I'm probably going to use these as like tuck spots and bases and pockets and, and stuff like that. And then I have some envelopes. So anyway, um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make, I'm going to make a cover. Let me get it. So what I have is I found it, I went to Goodwill and I found some fabric. And I know it doesn't really go um, go with with this, really. Uh, not really, but maybe. I mean, and, and I can grunge it up so it'll look. But I really like the idea of the red for the teacher thing, you know. So um, I I have this, and what I've done is I put some. I, uh, when I do fabric, I always put a little bit of really lightweight. Uh, interfacing on the back. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't think you need to do that, but I do it because it makes me feel better. <laughs> it's all about making. It's all about me. It's, be, it's about me. It's always about making me feel better. Um, so um, I'm going to put that aside really quick, and I need to make the base. And I found that I did not have a book. So, but what I do have is I have chipboard. This isn't very strong chipboard, so what I decided to do is I've got this lovely packaging. <laughs> I don't know. Can I get, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so I was going to glue this on here to make it a little more substantial. Um, so I think the best thing to do with that, I'm not going to, I'm just going to use um, some PVA, I think, if, if it's not stopped up. Is it stopped up? No, it's not stopped up. Um, this is just regular old PVA glue and I'm just gonna um that's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna glue these two together to make them all happy because I want it to be thick I want it to be a nice thick piece of card stock so so I just know I don't know I just thought maybe it would be fun to show you guys how I make a journal. I'm not like a journal guru by any by any any stretch of the imagination. There are many people who do it much better than I. 
but I do like it. It's a lot of fun. And so I am just going to line these up and glue them purposely and with great, look at that, <laughs> with great care. <laughs> PVA really grabs quick. Okay, that's a pretty good, there. And this one's bent, but that's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. You, you, you must trust me on that. It's gonna be okay. So, what time is it? Uh, okay, got a few minutes. So we're gonna just, I know you guys love sitting here watching me squirt glue on cardboard, but you know, hey. What else are you going to do on a Saturday night? All right? Saturday night. Hey. Yeah, Saturday night. Yeah, it's Saturday night here. And I probably, I don't know if I'll put this up tonight or not. It just depends on how I feel. So, I think this time I'm going to set it up so that I can get my, my scorners, my scorners right. This is going to be okay. You can smooth it down a little. Seriously though, packaging is, is the best thing. So, I mean, I, right now it's like, these are great. These are great, perfect. So what I wanted to do because, and because I want my spine to be like super duper great, I, I decided on a one and a half inch spine because I'm only gonna do four signatures and I'm probably, I'm probably gonna not like myself afterwards because I'm probably gonna wanna put more, but hey, more stuff in it. But I'm not even sure that this lady's into junk journals or anything, so <clears throat> she may just be like, what is this? And why is she giving this to me? I don't know. Who is this woman? So, so I'm, I, I'm gonna just, um, I'm just gonna put some stuff in it, and and the and my my porch prints. I believe I believe it's Stephanie. Please forgive me if it's not Stephanie, but I'm pretty sure. I'm um, pretty sure it's Stephanie. Um, her name is Stephanie. I'm pretty sure. Um, she also has. Here's look. These are tags. Isn't that great? So it's kind of like. All I have to do is cut this out and put it together. Voila, junk journal. There you go. What could be easier than that? All right. So here we got these three pieces of lovely. And I like to leave a little bit of room in the middle like so. I'm going to line these up. Let me have a, give me a ruler. Because I... I like to keep this stuff on my desk. This is just baker's stuff. Only because it's all, you know, because I like it and what we have already determined that it's all about me. So this is like, I don't know. I didn't do a very good job with this. So anyhow, I want to kind of space it out like this. Okay. And then the magic thing is this tape, <laughs> it's magic tape. And I actually got this idea from Nick the Booksmith a long time ago. I think, I don't know if she still uses packing tape, but you know, I do because it was a great idea, it was a good idea. And, I'm gonna put some packing tape here, whoops, on both sides of this. Yes, carefully and with great care. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing. And this may be overkill on, on this spine here, but I probably didn't need to leave that much room. <laughs> Um, but you know, whatever, 
So, and then, um, and I'll do this here. All right. So, we will get it nice and lovely. Um, and then, see, so yeah, it kind of squishes in a little bit when I do that. You know the whole thing about squishing, it's like the squoosh. Squishing is good, squishing is good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here on here. And then again, with the bone folder, maybe I'll use this one, it doesn't really matter, it's a bone folder. And again, with the squishing, I'm gonna go here, make sure everything is all nice and lovely. I'm gonna turn it over and do the other, do the same thing on this side. Okay. I didn't do a very good job right there. I think I'm gonna cut that. I think I might cut that with my um huge scissors. <laughs> Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's not gonna. It doesn't want to be cut. Look. It's like no. Don't cut me. Please, maybe I won't. Seriously? Seriously. And I know if I do it this way, I'm gonna end up cutting myself. Come on now. You know what? I'm gonna be like really, I'm gonna be smart about this and I'm gonna use my, Didn't like that. Hmm. It doesn't want to leave. There it goes. Oh, yep. Yeah, cut my cut my stuff. For this, we'll just cut trim this off. In the worst way possible. <laughs> Good job, good job. Okay, in the very worst way possible, just cut all this tape off. Really? And people are going, what? What is she doing? I don't know. All right. All right. So now we have this. So. Now, we can put our signatures in, right? <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> okay. No, this isn't what we put our signatures in. We don't put our signatures in this. The lighting's okay. I forgot to cut on the other light. I hope that's okay. I hope it's okay. I can. I can put in the other light. Let me see. It's just a matter of turning it on. I can figure it out. There. there. There was light. Okay. All right. So now we take this lovely thing. And I'm going to decide, because I want, I really want, I don't really care a whole lot about the inside, but I want this side to be the outside. So I'm going... I only want, I'm going to leave about, let's see, maybe about a half an inch around it. So I am going to go through here and I'm going to cut off some of this. I don't need all of this. You know, these scissors really are incredible. They cut through everything, everything. I mean, like, trust me, even if I'm out of frame, they are cutting everything, everything. They are so amazing. These are the most amazing scissors. They're just so good. They're good scissors. cut I mean they like B 
big scissors. Big, happy, happy scissors. Okay. Now what I like to do is get my lovely PVA and where's my little, wait. I'll be right yeah. What I needed, I needed to go get me a plate, and I didn't want you guys to have to wait. Um, I'm using this PVA glue. I love it. I need some more. <laughs> um, I get it on Amazon. Okay. Shoe. Put a little bit on here. Ooh, it's good. It's almost, I'm going to have to get some more. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn it over here, and I'm going to put it on the spine right here just on the spine lots i like to do it this way it'll be fine i know i wonder if i should have like tried to buff some of that off i don't know and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to stick it in the middle of there. Okay, like that. Like that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put it on this side. If you can see this, I'm just going to very literally bury. Lovely. The printer stopped printing. Yay. I don't know if I should have roughed that up or put some gesso on it or. Oh well. I usually do this and it works out fine, so. We are doing it this way. And I'm gonna put, I like to look on. And this also, when you put this liner, um, this stuff on here, it helps to keep the, um, it doesn't bleed through. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't like bleed through the fabric. Not that people care about that. Not people really just don't care about that sometimes. All right. That's that. Let me go and see the other side. I don't want to see. Yeah. Probably should have the parchment paper underneath here. Probably just going to put, um, you have to decide, uh, papers on the inside, probably, maybe. I haven't decided. I have this red that I'm thinking about. And I know, red, red with all this grunginess. You know what I was thinking though? I could like use that to my advantage, like maybe put a pop of red, like unexpected, like on every page, just kind of like some kind of little red thing on every single page. You know, like in every layout, just kind of like an unexpected little somewhere, maybe in hidden in a pocket. Maybe, maybe, could happen. Need a little more glue, just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't need all that, I will. Um, I mean, it's just paper. Oh, I am gonna need more because I gotta do the inside. Whoops, sorry. I gotta do the inside. Okay. Now that is down here, and yeah, murder. I mean, scissors. I'll go over here, check this out. And because it's got like this lovely, because of the tape, look, it just it just really, I mean, the tape just makes it just, I don't know, it's great. <laughs> I love it. All right. 
Now I have this little tool and this was, <clears throat> it is a corner miter tool. You don't actually have to have this tool um, to do this. I, I was, I, so I found out about this tool from, um, this cutter hates me, um, from Corey Danum. And um, to do corners, and I and I just I just I just like it, so I use it. I'm probably just gonna um, use because my corner cutter hates me, so I'm just gonna do it this way. And all the corners. This one off. I've seen so many people cut their corners like really, really, really close. And um, actually, if you, this is, I figured out it's like one eighth from the edge. So if you measure like one eighth from that corner, you'll get the same result. That's what I figured, right, right around one eighth from the corner, you get the, get the same result. But I, I really like that one. Like, I don't remember where I got it. I just, I think I just did, uh, searched for corner, corner, miter, miter, corner thing. So, um, so now we need to do the sides. And again, with the PVA, and we're gonna this time put it on the 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 fabric. Yes, I. Um, you wanna make sure you get it all the way over to the edge. You hear my doggy snoring, my little Mia. <laughs> I don't know. I have a Mia is a thirteen year old three pound chihuahua. So she has been around with us for a long time. Okay, so you gingerly fold this back up here. Make sure that these are squished in most properly. And this is the, you wanna make sure, well, I guess I can't do that yet, but there. And nice, nice, it's almost like a tablecloth, right? Yes, this nice lady gave me a book made out of a tablecloth. <laughs> she's so nice she gave me a book made out of a tablecloth but and that is my the, the one that you the other dog that you hear is Dakota and he is a blue healer who thinks he's a person and he's likes me to sit in the living room at night with him and watch television so he can snuggle up with me and that's why he's crying and making so but he gets me every night i usually don't do videos except on the weekend so because of my work and stuff okay put this up like that and all this will be covered up so it doesn't matter if it looks, you know, if it stretches out or whatever. Like that. And again, I want to make sure this is in there. Okay, now for the side. And um, this will dry nicely. 
So what you want to do is you want to make sure when you go in here that there's a little glue stuck up in there. In that little, like there's a little place right there. You would be able to see it like that. A little sort of fold over. And you want to make sure that there's glue in there. So anyway, and then you want to take your bone folder and where that is, is you want to like make sure that that's kind of squished down a little bit and then you want to fold this up. There, like so. Make sure that that's folded down and in. And that gives you some really nice corners. Well, that's another thing it wouldn't hurt to do once you're done is take your bone folder and kind of like do this to kind of square off, especially if you have like a book. You know, if you're doing like a book book, you want to do that to kind of square off those edges so anyway all right one more side and then I don't know if I have a lot of time I guess it's only been I don't know how many minutes do you do on a YouTube thing I don't know need a little bit more. I don't want to use, hold on more, just a little tiny bit. Okay. And again, I'm going to squish that corner down. Squish it in and then bring this up. I don't know y'all can see my owl frame. Sorry. All right. And now I need to make sure that's squished in and squished up. Okay. Okay. This is what we have um, so far. Now, um, I usually like to make sure these are squished in good. It's got to dry. It's going to dry. And I'm going to go put this in some water. I'm back. I had to go do um, a thing um, with potato salad, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so anyway, now comes the crazy part. What I did is I went on the internet and I cut this out. I mean, I didn't cut this out. I'm going to cut this out. But I, I just found this. I got PVA all over me, man. I don't think I need this anymore. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this out. Ooh, first I'm about to put my, my glue back up. I had a date with the potato salad, man. Okay, and also, this is another one of my porch prints, little um, digi things. They, they have a, she has a whole thing full of these and I just put it, in my computer and PowerPoint and wrote teacher on there. So I'll put it on the cover. But here's what I wanted to do. I want to cut this out. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts. I kinda am. Um, and cut it out. Yes, Tina, cut it out. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about the leaf right now. And then I'm going to get me a couple of pieces. Can this work? Oh, no, it's not big enough. This is big. This is, oh, this is big enough. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, I am going to draw 
around here. Some cardstock. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut two because I want it to be large. Maybe three. Three, maybe. Maybe three. That'd be too much, three. <laughs> Let's do three. You know, another thing you guys can do if you have a, um, if you have a Cricut, then you can, you can just cut, get it to cut like a hundred cardstock things. Um, and I guess I should tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to take these and I'll put them together. I am going to put a... I'm going to put red, some red fabric. I'm going to wrap them with red fabric. And I'm going to put this on the cover. That's what I'm going to do. And I found this, and I don't know where it came from. But I was going to put this, like here, and I have a stick like that. And I can do, um, that's what I was going to do. I don't know. Whether it works or not, we shall see. I'm really kind of like, I've been thinking about it. And I really wanted to do that apple. Oh, and I also have, I found these, these ABC things, like these letters at the Dollar Tree. And this is just that same um, packaging. Yeah, and if you like chocolate, don't buy these because you'll eat the whole thing. Just the whole thing. Not that I would know anything about that. Uh, because, you know, I love me some chocolate. I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out. Then, and then... That, was a, that didn't take too long. So get the little PVA here, which sticks like nuts. And I'm just gonna glue all these together because I just want it to be kind of um, thick because I want it to set up over the... I want it to... like that it's pretty good yeah all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a little piece of this <clears throat> make it so it's kind of big like that I should be using the big scissors matter. Now, in lieu of a brush, you can also use your finger tool to make it nice and, because you don't want these little lines in there. That would be, no, that would be gross. Do this. So, then you cut around here, kind of close. Hmm, maybe I didn't do right. Maybe I don't want to do this. Maybe, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't. I want to do that. I mean, I will, but I don't want to do it quite yet. I want to do something else. Um, I want to find 
some sort of a stencil that may be, I don't know, looks, where's the one I just had? I don't know. I don't know, maybe, no. Hmm. Let's find a stencil. Something I want a little bit of. Maybe a flower. Oh, I have a lot of these. Or a butterfly. Ooh, a butterfly. Let's. With this. Let's. Let me see if that's kind of. Kind of like the butterfly. What do you think about the butterfly? Is that weird to have a butterfly on a? Or would it be better? They're like, and now you're going. What are you doing, Tina? Or a bee? No. Ooh. No. I like the butterfly. I'm thinking the butterfly might be just the thing. I like the dragonfly too. Or just random. This is nah. That's not really. I like this one because it's all like. Uh, you can also do some like like just and I'm gonna do the butterfly okay so I'm gonna do this do this I'm gonna do let me make it so I'm gonna look up at the light so I can see here I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, I don't know, no I don't know, I just don't know, maybe I should just leave it. Maybe I should just leave it. Or maybe just a pattern. I like the patterns, the patterns are nice. Let's do the pattern. All right, let's take some of this. And do I wanna do the pattern? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, what do you think, the pattern? Oh, what the heck, let's go for it. Let's go for the pattern. I got this texture paste that I made and I'm just gonna put this on here. This is homemade texture paste, and I have used it a lot, and it works brilliantly. Okay, the reveal. Oh, I love it. Okay, so what we'll do with that is now I am going to let that dry and then I will add the red on top of it. So I think what I'm going to do is leave this for now and then we will do some more of this journal tomorrow so or next time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, close up with glue, because I really like that. I think that looks really nice. I'm gonna let that dry, but it needs to dry. So, and I need to clean up, and you, you have to clean your stencil. But doesn't that do a good job though? Okay, hi. It's the next day. Um, I went ahead and um, <laughs> let this dry. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, I, I like it. I like it. Um, so, I'm going to put that aside for a minute. And what I did here with these, I got these little letters from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I spray painted them um, with some black acrylic, some black spray paint. I'm not sure. I may emboss them. I don't even know how that'll work. But um, what I have here, I took that little stencil that I showed the... Um, the one that was in this pack, this little leaf right here, and I went ahead and I put this on some cardstock, uh, just a piece of file folder, 
for the stem for the the leaf. Um, and then, so this is pretty white. So what I think I'm going to do is give this a little bit of paint with some. I don't know if I'm going to use. I think I'll just use some acrylic uh, paint. And I have. Let me get my my paint. And maybe I'll do the same thing with the leaf. I have I have a bunch of paint here. <laughs> I used to. So I think I have. This is a true red, but it's not. It's not going to match. It's not going to match. Or I would just. Um, I would just leave it, but I don't know, maybe, but I don't think it really matches. Anyway, and then I'm going to um, figure out what kind of a green. This, this might be a good green. It's called, just green, it's called green. And this is called True Red. Red, just red, green. These are Craft Smart. They're not really the most great Um, excuse my kids. They are being kids. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this really quick. I'm going to use a piece of scrap paint. Let me shake it up a little bit. Sometimes these things, I don't use these very much. I used to do some YouTube. Um, I was into Dollar Tree stuff, you know. And um, so I, I don't really need to. I just want to like knock down, knock down that white a little bit. So it won't show, this is like really, so it won't show through on my fabric. So I'm just gonna paint this, just not really worried about, it. I just want it to not really show through on my fabric. Yeah, that helps. So I'm gonna do that, my water, and we'll do the, what I'm probably going to do with the leaf is just leave it, leave it the way it is because, you know, I'm not going to try to cover that with anything, but I'm going to, hopefully this will, that's a little better consistency. Um, so I don't know if I like, I might put a couple of coats on this. Although that's, that's not bad. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like that. I didn't give me a paper towel, but okay. All right, so I'm going to um, put that aside, put that dry. I'm going to, is my, it is, dry this, put this in dry. Okay, I think that's good enough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some, um, where is it? I'm gonna use Distress Collage Medium. I mean, you can use Mod Podge. I just happen to really like this stuff. And I, I bought it and it just lasts for a long time. And Sorry for the background noise. My children have decided that this is the time that they want me to make breakfast. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this distressed medium and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use uh, the bigger brush that I had before this brush. And um, I'm just gonna paint it on the here. Nice, even, whoops, coat. And And then I'm going to take a piece of this. Now I'm going to put it over this. Now what I want to do now is take a kind of a hard brush and just kind of, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see that texture coming through. And then if you have one of these little tools. This is just 
and they have them at the Dollar Tree. It's got a little ball on the end. So I can go through here and just kind of like go over all of those little areas. like that because what I'm doing is I'm pressing this down into the glue and I'm like, sorry, it's so quiet. I'm just like trying to there. <laughs> it's gonna probably speed this part up anyway. All right, I don't know if you can see that. See how pretty that is? It's really kind of just just some texture on that. And you can you've seen people put some like like pictures on like pieces excuse me on on covers and stuff and I'm not sure if that's this is how they do it but I think a lot of it is with this I'm just roughly cutting around it um and then I'm gonna take a, a nice little scissors and just kind of cut close enough Okay, now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go and cut around like this. Just kind of cut inside, like so. This is, you know, it might be a little time consuming, but I really like the outcome a lot. So now I'm gonna take my <clears throat> my PVA glue and I'm gonna just go around the edges like this. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna fold it up. And that way um, the edges curve to the, the out, the, I don't know if you can see, the edges curve to the curve of the apple. So if you see the other side, it looks nice and, and pretty. I'm gonna here make sure you have enough glue. <laughs> and you know, what do you got? Gluey fingers. That's okay. We are crafters. We are not afraid of glue. I don't know if maybe I should have done a separate thing on this. I don't know if you think I should. This is kind of a hidden gem. You know, I see a lot of people doing, um, not a lot of people, but some people doing, <clears throat> having these raised places on their books, but I have yet to find one that and maybe you guys know it i mean there's lots of youtubers out there and i don't know everybody but i haven't found one that really shows you this technique um and maybe i'm giving away a secret i don't know maybe it's a secret is it a secret am i giving away a trade secret that nobody else is supposed to know <laughs> i don't know okay and see that's kind of like i don't want to get that glue but you can see i mean it's just a little bit of texture and I really think maybe it won't add a whole lot, but um, I can't get that in there right now. But I think it does. And, you know, like I said, you can go over this as many times as you want. Um, but
but I really got a little glue right there, but that'll dry clear. See, isn't that pretty? And then what I will do is put this on the front, how I love it. Um, so let's see. Um, I have looked at this and I think I want this to be the front. So this will be here. This will be here. And then I have this, this is a stick <laughs> that I cut in half. Um, so that would be like that. And, but right now, as I look at this, it's going to need more. So, cause it's not, um, put that in water. Cause it's going to, it's just kind of, it doesn't really stand out. So we're gonna need some more stuff behind it. Um, so, um, I am going to let this all dry and then come back and we'll put these elements over here. And like I said, I have the ABCs over there, so that's kind of cool. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this video up and maybe make a part two on this teacher journal. So I didn't get to finish the cover, but there's still a lot more to do with the cover. Anyway, so I'll see you in a little bit or next time. Bye.